Students who had signed up for driver education classes in the Clarence Central School District will have to wait until another semester to take the course. In a letter sent to parents on Tuesday, Superintendent of Schools Jeffrey Hicks said the reason is bugs. Channel 2's Dave McKinley has the story tonight. The superintendent sent this letter to parents on Tuesday, one night after the parent of a student here at Clarence High School stood to raise the issue at Monday's school board meeting. Is there a problem? According to the letter, students complained of bugs in one of the driver ed cars during the previous school semester. Hicks, who did not return a call seeking comment, writes that the district told O'Day's driving school, with whom it contracts to provide the in-vehicle portion of the driver ed program, that it needed to clean the cars or provide different ones. All seemed well when the second semester driver education program began last week until, Hicks says, another bug was cited. At this point, we have exhausted our options, wrote Hicks. For the health and well-being of our students, we have no choice but to cancel the community driver education program for this semester. We called and emailed O'Day's driving school, even paid them a visit. This afternoon, we were told the owner was out of town by a person who says they work for the company and who also said they contract with other districts and claim they've never gotten any similar complaints. The parent who spoke to the board Monday claims the vermin in question are bed bugs and claims to have seen proof. The videotapes of the bed bugs in the cars themselves are, should be evidence enough that the board and the school need to take action. But the district steered clear of identifying them in that way, only referring to them as bugs. What bugged her the most, though, was the district's failure to say something earlier. All through social media is how I found this out, through parents calling parents. My question and my, my request to the board is to please have more transparency around this issue. The letter from Superintendent Hicks concludes by stating that parents will be provided full refunds for the hundreds of dollars they paid to allow their children to take that course and that the district will try and find a different vendor to resume driver's education this summer. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.